Hello, my name is Mrs. Cannon. I teach math here at UCAS. Um, just a quick introduction of myself. Um, I have four children, two of them are married. Uh, one of them just got married last week, so that was exciting. Um, our family loves hot air balloons, so we have a hot air balloon and we fly pretty much year round. Um, I love math, but even more, I actually love my students. Um, and I've found that um, my philosophy or goal is to try and make each student's life better through math. And um, I hope that by the time they're finished with the class that they will enjoy math and can be able to do um, more than they did when they started, for sure. Um, I do have a master's degree in math and I taught it for four years, actually five years at BYU and nine years at UVU. And then I got married and started my family and I've been home with all my kids. Um, and then as they went into school, I came back to teaching. And so for the last nine years, I've been here at UCAS and I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. It's a lot more work than college, but I really, really have loved it. Um, so let's see. Uh, so how to succeed in math. Right now, your student should have an A, 100% in everything. So we've had some weird like Canvas things, Canvas updated again this year, which is fine, but it's a few different things that I haven't been watching. So if it's wrong, let's make sure to get in touch and we'll see if we can fix that quickly. But homework, so homework is something that they should be doing every day. I don't want them spending hours and hours on homework. It should be about 30 minutes a day though, and I like them to get into that habit because that is a, skill that will um, really be needed, especially moving forward. Um, let's see, so homework is due the next day at four o'clock. And that's so if they did the assignment and they have no, they, can't, they just can't do it. They're like really frustrated or whatever, that that gives them a chance to come in. I'm here um, before school um, and after school. And if they need a special help during lunch, they're trying to not open lunch tutoring, but um, I'm happy to help if we need to do that during lunch or advisory. Um, let's see, but uh, the homework, they should be grading their homework. So I'm going to, I give them the answers to everything so that they can make sure they're doing it right. They can check their work and then they can fix it if they've missed it. So that's the goal ultimately is to have this homework um, be a really good learning tool. Um, so after they complete the assignment, they'll be submitting it on Canvas. So I won't be collecting any physical papers. Um, and the nice part about that is then I won't lose it. They, they have a record, we all can access it at any point. So if you ever wanna look at your child's homework or your student's homework, um, that's easy to do. So their homework grade should always be 100%. Now, um, if they don't turn their homework in by the next day, technically I have in my syllabus that it um, can be penalized up to 70% and it needs to be turned in completely though before we take the test on that unit. After the unit test, they can't get credit for that homework, okay? Um, so it really is critical getting their homework done uh, each day. Just a little, and I, I really don't, like I said, want them to do hours and hours of homework each day. Okay, so secondly, quizzes. Quizzes should always also be at 100%. The quizzes are on Canvas, they're multiple choice, and you can retake those quizzes as many times as you need to, to get 100%. Um, the purpose behind those quizzes is to kind of do a quick summary of the day, like the week, what we've been working on, and then have them be able to see the um, exact format for the answers so that, again, we're kind of doing a check and a double check, making sure we've got the material. Um, testing really fast. Um, testing as we move higher and higher in our math classes will be worth more and more points. And so um, I do need to get students comfortable testing. Um, there are no retakes on tests. So the time to prepare for a test is every day. So homework, I call test prep. 
So they should be, like I said, fixing ones they missed, going back, asking questions, making sure they understand. Um, so I don't drop a test either. Um, it is happens all the time that you have a bad day or you're feeling sick and um, are struggling on a test. So what will happen is at the end of the semester, we'll take a semester final. And if that final is higher than your lowest test score, I'll replace your lowest test score with that final test score. Um, anyway, if you have any questions on that, you're welcome to um, get in touch with me. Um, but yeah, testing is, is important. Um, but I, yeah, anyway. Um, so the testing, um, they are asked to take the test with their class. So don't, ha don't allow them to say, well, I want to study more or whatever. Uh, they'll generally do better if they actually take it with the class. So um, go ahead and make sure we're, we're, we're all taking the test together. Um, let's see, what else? Anything else about testing? Um, yeah, so again, no way to add extra points, no retakes and um, yeah, all the homework and quizzes need to be completed before that test. Um, other than that, we, we will do a semester final. That semester final uh, will have several weeks where we sit down and in class and at home and you'll work on that uh, final together. Uh, and then the questions will come straight off of that review worksheet. So it's kind of a fun way to review the semester. Um, so wrapping it up, um, it's nice to meet you and I'm looking forward to the semester to actually see you in person. Um, it's super fun teaching here. I have truly, truly, I feel very blessed and I love, I love the students. So, um, and math is great too. Uh, anyway, you are welcome to reach out to me if you have any questions um, or concerns and I'm happy to work with you and see if we can't get those results. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.